It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Friday morning, and as always, we are delighted to be in your company. <laughs> Joined right now by S's favorite oh, Cape yeah. Colored auntie who stole the hearts of millions of South Africans. Uh, she's paying us a visit, well, in a way, if, we, if you will, because uh, this festive season, Mark Lottering returns to the Baxter stage with his hugely popular Auntie Merle series, and this time, things get real. And joining us this morning, Mark Lottering and Madiha Anders. Give them a round of applause! Yeah. 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 Good morning, love. Good morning. How are we doing? Great. Great. You guys Great. are looking so smart. Thank you. We, it's, it's the occasion. When we heard that you're coming around, yeah, we, we, oh, we got to pull out. Royalty we don't, we don't, has arrived. Because we don't wow. do suits every day, actually. Yeah, this is true. Uh, and what time don't. do you have to give these things back? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you talking too about? Soon, man. Too soon, man. Too soon. Listen, it's, it's absolutely... Sweet, guys. They don't take it back when you sweat. Wow. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut in this. I'm all playing. Thank you for the tip. Listen, it's absolutely incredible to have the two of you out on the couch. Oh, okay. uh, um, I tell you what, uh, since we have a bit of a technical issue with your microphone, yeah? okay. I'll, I'll take over from Thank here. You, right? But let's, let's talk about the show. Um, Auntie Mill's back on stage and things are, are getting real, Mark. Um, you've just returned from touring uh, yeah. your latest show. And then in between all of that, were you like going on stage and then during the intermission, you're writing. How do you do this? No, we were, I was on tour with my show, with my stand-up show, Uncle Mark. So we, were, we did an international tour with that. Yes, yes. And um, we did a few cities in Australia and London, but there's, so there's lots of flying involved. This is true. Uh, long, it, long haul flights. Long economy class. <laughs> and uh, when you sit in economy class, you need to be distracted by the fact that God hasn't taken you to business yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then God says, if you want to make more money, right? Oh, then you can also God. sit in front there. <laughs> so I opened my laptop and, um, yeah, I think I spent, oh. I remember on one flight in particular, there was like a 10-hour thing happening and wow. I, I spent a lot of time um, you know, just refining the, the draft of the story. I had the story in my head okay. for a long time. And um, so it was about refining and refining. And, um, and here we are, and it's called Things Get Real because I think the world has just gone through so much. Initially, we were just going to restage on Mill, It's a Girl. Right. But so much has happened in between. Um, and um, so we brought a lot of chaotic issues into the show. Wow. It's quite... Um, it, the challenge has been to stay funny. Okay, because some of the issues are quite heavy? Yeah. Most of the issues are quite heavy. Okay. Um, but the challenge has been to still keep people laughing, yeah. you know, mm. so we're having a really special time. And you've introduced some new faces yeah, as well. Yeah, which I wanted to chat to about because obviously with this conversation with God and making more money, did he mention to you that you need to add more people to the show? Uh, <laughs> I didn't get a vision I of you, you yet. Oh, was that well, an well, incomplete yeah, vision yeah, right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. You can never yeah. answer your phone. <laughs> Kat, on the other hand, sends the voice, bad, yeah, Kat okay. sends voice notes singing at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> you know it all. Wow. You know it. So we've added some new, um, <laughs> you know, we've got some new characters, which means I um, get to um, see the terrific and wonderful Madiha Anders every yes. day. Let's... And the wonderful thing about this show is um, Madiha's real-life daughter, Jawa, um, also auditioned, and quite coincidentally, we didn't even know or set out to have the two of them in the oh, same goodness. show. No way. So wow. um, they're both part of the company now. You so made the cut. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your character, Jessie, I believe, right? Yes. So who is Jessie in the story and how does she fit in? Okay, so Jessie is the mother of um, a young 19-year-old called Zane. But Jessie has gone off the path. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of into drugs, mm. tick mm -hmm. mainly. And so she's kind of navigating her way through to kind of become a better person because she comes from a good she comes from a good home mm -hmm. and a good family, quite upstanding family. So um, yeah, it's it's a kind of a process for a son because a son tries to get her back. And coincidentally, my daughter is my sister in the show. Oh, wow. Oh. That's a very interesting wow. dynamic. Yes. How's that dynamic obviously playing out? Because obviously in the real world, that's not the case. No. <laughs> but no. <in> the... <laughs> I actually, because like Mark, Mark said, the funny side is always there. We have to keep that there. Yeah. So we don't really feel that. And also because Jessie is in another world. Jessie is in, in her own world. And 
Soraya is in her own world with Mark. Mm -hmm. So it's two different ends of, of yeah. the spectrum. I, I have to say that, that I, I initially thought that they lived together, so I thought it's going to save on petrol. <laughs> 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 then we save on budget. And then I found out all oh, separate homes. <laughs> what, what has it been like working with, with the cast as a newly introduced character, a, a new role? Because um, I've seen some of the behind the scenes, you know, table reads and some of the antics, the dances that's been, that have been oh, happening. Yeah. There's a lot of energy. It seems it's, like, you know, it's, it's just positivity all around. It's, yeah. I cannot even explain. It is, it's just an amazing journey. Yeah. Um, the cast and crew and this man, oh my word. Is, is yeah, something he, special? Or he is you, he's super special. Blink twice if you... <laughs> <laughs> no, not because he's sitting here, but he makes <laughs> us as, as, as he, as he, the, the characters, feel so much at home and like calm and he just brings, because he brings that energy. That's brilliant. That's yeah, brilliant. So. I'm pretty wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty terrific. I have to wake up like this and deal with it. Oh, my day. word. OK, so as you can see, information <laughs> is on your screen right now. Uh, Auntie Mill, Things Get Real is on at the Baxter Theatre from the 29th of November. Oh, and it's a long run that you're doing, right? It's yeah. a long run. runs until the 21st of Jan, but it cannot be extended. And already okay. the, the, the booking's really heavy. Yes. Um, but it cannot be extended, so we're to encourage people to book yes, soon. Please. And we've got about, we've got a cast of 15 actors and musicians, oh, all yes. original music, a beautiful new play. Um, so it's something that you want to see. I can feel this complimentary look. Are we no, complimentary no, 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 it's not even yeah, about that. No, no, tickets. unlike you, Now Mark, we've got to pay see, for the interview. Yeah. No, you see, <laughs> Mark, un unlike you, unlike you, we make a lot of money. <laughs> And we can buy tickets to the show, and we will be buying tickets to your show. Some are, some are gonna see it twice. Uh, Licker Jane, Licker Jane, this is all legally binding. <laughs> the tickets are available on webtickets.coza. The show is called Auntie Mill, Things Get Real. It's at the Baxter Theatre, 29 November to 21 January. Check it out. Great having you here. Thank, Thank you. you.